First Empowerment TV. I am your favorite personal finance expert, Shawnee Curry Saintville. And today we're going to be talking about protecting your purse. So when it comes to protection, you would not even believe that 33% of Americans decide not to have any life insurance. Um, a little bit even more disheartening is that the fastest segment, growing segment in America is female entrepreneurs as well as female breadwinners. So when we talk about women who are the top earners in this country, um, subjecting themselves to that level of financial vulnerability, I definitely have to get involved in the conversation. So if we're talking about that, I'm not gonna do it by myself. I'm gonna have one of my favorite Persepreneurs. A Persepreneurs is a female entrepreneur that's all about purse empowerment, that's making sure that you learn how to save, spend, and earn more money. Miss Enette Henderson is here to help us protect those purses. Okay, so we're having a real girlfriend conversation, right? And let's just say I don't know nothing about life insurance. If the first thing I do is I wanna say, hey, someone came and sat in front of me and they put all these options in front of me, how would I be able to at least pull out something that just makes some sense to me? What would you say? Well, of all the products I sell, Shawnee, life insurance is my favorite. Okay. And if you're looking for life insurance, I would say start with the type of policy that okay. you want to purchase. Types, okay. Type of policy would mean a term policy mm -hmm. or a permanent life insurance policy. Okay. Those are the two main categories. Okay. So if you have term, so if someone looks in their policy, you go inside of your purses right now and you pull it out, at the top, would it say term policy? It would say term life insurance Okay, policy. term life insurance. So if you have a term policy mm -hmm. or if you're shopping, what would term mean for you? I would define terms, think of it this way. Mm -hmm. If you are renting an apartment or okay. renting a home, mm -hmm. when you pay your uh, mortgage, that's usually more affordable. Mm -hmm. uh, your rent is usually more affordable versus mm -hmm. a mortgage, which right. is more permanent. Mm -hmm. And you have a lease. So that lease is temporary. Okay. So whether it's for a year or two years, and after that period, you're renewing it, maybe at the same cost mm -hmm. or maybe at a higher cost. Okay. So that would be term. Okay. If you're looking at permanent insurance, think about buying your own home. Okay. It's yours. Uh -huh. You own it. That mm -hmm. mortgage is in your name. Mm -hmm. You control it. Okay. It may cost you a little bit more, mm -hmm. but you know it's permanent. Okay. That will not change. Okay, so this permanent policy, no matter what age I am, no matter how sick I get or don't get, would the cost of it change? The cost of it would not change unless you decide to make changes to it. Okay, unless I decided. That would Absolutely. be totally up to me. If I have a permanent policy, the cost of it, the death benefit is going to stay the same until the end of time, until I actually need it. Until you actually need it. Until you I need, need it, it right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, great. Now, this term policy, um, I could have it for a period of time. How long could I have it? Five years, 10 years, 15 years? How, how does that work out? You know what? It all depends. We okay. have 10 year, 20 year, 30 year term. It okay. depends on what period of life that you're going through. Okay. You may say, I have young children right now. I need another 20 years okay. for this benefit, and that's what I can pay in this period. Okay. Or 30 years. So whatever the term is, but do know that is renewable okay. if you decide to renew it another 10 or 20 okay. years. Okay, so there's some other benefits outside of controlling the cost of it, yes. outside of the length of time of it. What, what are some of the other benefits? Well, think about this. A permanent life insurance policy has cash value. Okay, so, so what cash does that value. Mean? Yes. yes. Let's put that in your purse, okay? Cash, cash value. value. <laughs> <laughs> cash value, if you ever need to borrow money for any reason, okay. if you ever you're thinking about maybe retirement in the future, okay. that can be used as part of your nest day. Okay. If you're thinking about children that are going to college, okay. you might want to use that cash value to fund some of their college expenses. Okay. Or you may decide, you know what, I'd like to do some renovations in my home, okay. or there's something that I'd like to do. Let me take some of the cash. Those are living benefits okay. of a permanent life insurance. Okay, so that is another big difference between the term option as well as the permanent option is that that term is just for the term of it and for the death of it. That's it. That's but it. this permanent policy will give you some death benefits as well as some living benefits as well. Absolutely. Now, um, people may use that for a litany of different things. All right, so those are types. Yes. All right, so that's how to pick them. You go either pick yourself a term, term policy or, or a permanent, permanent policy. policy. Get that in your purse. All right, so now we're going to move on how to pay for them. Okay. Now, when we're talking about cost, um, sometimes people get these mailers in the mail and they'll say, Hey, a penny a day, a dollar a month, and you get a hundred thousand dollars and that's it. 
Um, so how would, and, and sometimes you, you definitely don't want to pick the least expensive option and then you don't want to pick the most expensive option. But if I'm looking in my purse and I'm doing a little bit of shopping, how do I really determine this cost? How's it going to fit inside of my purse without causing too much financial friction? Well, think about what coverage you're looking for. Okay. When you think about your coverage, you want to incorporate, okay, do I want to replace my income? Okay. And if so, how many years do I want to replace that income for? Mm -hmm. The next five years? Let's mm -hmm. say your income is $50,000 a year. Mm -hmm. You'd like to replace that income for the next five years. So okay. you're looking at a $250,000 policy. Okay. And you also want to think about, okay, well, what type of funeral? Okay. Do I want the limos, the doves, mm -hmm. you know, what do <laughs> I want, the horse and carriage? You want everything, so that's another cause. You want the $10,000 funeral right. or the $30,000 funeral. Right. So those are all things that you need to incorporate when you're thinking about the cost. So oh. the death benefit, total death benefit. Okay. And also you want to think about your insurability also affects the cost. Okay. So we're looking policy. at three things that's going to impact your cost. Number one is going to be... Your number one would be your death benefit. Okay, your death benefit. So when we break down death benefit, death benefit is when you pass, how much are you looking at income protection at that point? Is that what you're mostly you thinking about? Yes. Okay, so if to get a gauge is let's say your husband makes fifty thousand dollars, right? And you're gonna think to yourself, okay, would I like to replace his income for five years? Would I like to replace his income ten for years. ten years? Or yes. would I like to replace it for twenty years? So that's how you're gonna come up with the death benefit in correlation with income protection. Absolutely. Okay, and then the next level is going to be after you settle the income protection, what's going to be next? Next, you want to think about the debt that you have. Okay. If you own a home, mm -hmm. you also want to incorporate that. Okay. What's the balance of your mortgage? Okay. So not only do I need the income, I also would like to pay for my home. Okay. And you, what about the debt? Any okay. bills that you may have to leave behind. Okay. Whether it's a car payment, mm -hmm. whether it's you know student loans, mm -hmm. you want to think of all of that when you talk about the debt benefit okay. that you have. So okay. that encompasses. Many so we got areas. income and we got debt. Got okay, debt. Yes. and now we're going to look at insurability because that's also going to play Absolutely. a role in the cost. So, how many lattes you drink and how many times you go into that gym is going. Play. That's right. Okay, so That's tell right. me about that. So insurability, how much is health really going to be impacting the price? Well, health makes a difference as to how you're rated. Okay. So when you think about what does that mean, rated? Mm -hmm. Well, that's how the company's going to look at you and your mortality. Where do you fall in that period? So they're trying how to figure out are you? how soon they're going to have to pay for this. You got it. Okay, got it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, they're just trying you to figure it. out how fast they're going to be paying for this. Okay, it. and based on that, it's going to determine your rate. That's okay, right. good, great. All right, so we're talking about insurability, income, debt. What are some other factors you're going to think about? And you want to think about um, when you're looking at life insurance, your pocket. Your that pocket. Purse. That purse. How much can you afford okay. as, in terms of how it fits into your budget? Okay. Because what you don't want to do is mm -hmm. purchase something that you can't maintain. Right. That defeats the purpose of it. Because if you lose it, you can't use it. That's right. And we can't be there when you need us. No, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> we need to be able to show up when we need to. Right? right? When it comes to protecting your purse. Okay, great. So we've talked about picking. Yes. We're talked about paying mm -hmm. and then we're talking about coverage, right? So when you're talking about going somewhere and deciding who you're going to trust oh. in the event that you really, really need them, how would I know of all the many life insurance uh, agents, life insurance companies that I'm really dealing with someone that at a time when I'm going to need someone to show up, what would be the criteria for deciding? Who's going to be good to protect my purse? Excellent. Everybody wants to be with the best. Okay. When you think about how do you know who's the best? Okay. Well, there's some ratings that we need to look out for. Okay. And best ratings. A is that best company ratings. an A plus company? Okay. A B company mm -hmm. or a C company? And what does that mean? Right. Ratings. Basically, you want to think about the financial stability of that company. Okay. So to break that down, that when, we means, break in, when we're looking at a company and we're looking at their rating, we're determining whether or not... Can they pay? Can they pay? Can they stroke a check? That's right. Quick, fast. And in a hurry. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And the best way to determine that, where would I see these ratings? Would it be on my policy? Where would the ratings be? Sometimes you can find them online. Okay. Some of the policy inserts have okay. the ratings for you. The materials should have it because okay. it's public information. Okay. Anywhere. 
Okay. But always online. When you research the company, you want to make sure that they have, you know, the financial stability. Okay. The experience right. to be able to assist you and to make sure that a plan that they're providing you is an individualized plan. Okay. Not a blanket plan. Okay. Life insurance is not cookie cutter. It's not cookie cutter. It's not all. one size fits all. Okay. Now, is there a huge difference when we're talking about coverage and like what I can get as an employee or do I need to get something else in my purse? How does that kind of work out? Well, when you think about work, most people say, I have it at work. Right. But what if you decide to start your own business? Mm -hmm. You retire. Mm -hmm. So the best way to control your life insurance policy mm -hmm. is to also have one that you own. Okay. So you would recommend that people go ahead and get that life policy at work. Yes. They should they should go ahead and keep that and maintain that. But in addition to, they should have one that's going to be portal. Absolutely. Yes, they can Absolutely. take it with them wherever they go. If they decide to be uh, self-employed, if they decide to go work for another company, they would keep that protection with them from now and forevermore. Forevermore. Did we leave out anything? And just maximize the opportunity. Okay. When you are looking for life insurance, don't make a hasty decision. Okay. Oh, my friend did this or this person did that. Make sure that when you're looking at life insurance and you're planning for your financial future mm -hmm. for your family, that you're thinking about the income replacement. Right. You're thinking about the legacy mm -hmm. that you would like to leave behind. And you also want an opportunity, if there is, to enjoy some of the living benefits of okay. a life insurance policy. I hear you. Make it work for you. Make it work. Okay. Well, thank you guys for tuning in. I do hope that you feel richer. If you don't, me and my friend Annette are definitely going to put some money all up in your purse to make sure that you not only have some money, but you also have some protection. You ready? A lot of money. A lot of money. <laughs> I mean, a lot, a lot of money. money. When we talk about life insurance, we need a lot, a lot of, of money. money. You ready to go in that purse? Ready. Let's go in your Deeper. spiritual purse, your actual purse, your man bag, your auntie purse, whatever kind of purse you have, because we're getting ready to pay you. You ready? I'm ready. <laughs> As always, we do hope that you feel richer. And if you like this video, I'm going to need you to do three things. I'm going to need you to like it. I'm going to need you to share it. And I'm going to need you to drop that comment. We'll see you next time.